Okay, everybody, um, I will call this meeting to order. Roll call, please. Sorry, Director Poole? Here. Thank you. Uh, Director Russia. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> Here. Director Martin? Here. Vice President Duncan? Here. And President Wright? Here. Thank you. We have quorum. Thank you. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance. We got that flag, that flowing flag. Okay, everybody, is everybody ready? Let's begin. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, I think today, instead of the invocation, I think uh, I would like to, I, I meant to do it, I think, last meeting, but I, I didn't. But I'd like to have a moment of silence for Corky Larson. Um, you know, she was, she was a supervisor. She was a, a director of CVWD. She was executive officer of CVAG. She was a, a, a the one who um, founded Women in Ag. Uh, she, attorney she for DHS. Woman. Pardon? Oh, she yeah, was the attorney for DHS. And, and the city at uh, intern city manager also. Yes, she was lost. She was really good when she did that. Anyway, so let's have a moment of silence for Corky Larson. <laughs> Okay. Get my agenda out here. <clears throat> okay, first thing on the agenda, so I'm going to do pub, uh, employee recognition. We do have one, uh, Michael Moore, Field Operation Technician 2, for one year. So we have public input. Oh, I'm sorry, Arden, did you want to say something about him? No, yes? I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding. You're not coming through real clearly on my computer here, but. Okay, uh, let me try this. Let me try this. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Is that, is that any better? Seems like it. At least I better? heard everything. Yeah, I heard everything you said there. Okay. Okay. Um, the first one is uh, is the uh, employee recognition, but we have one Michael Moore, and he's a field operations technician. One on the been on the job for one year. Yeah, I don't know if Basam wants to say anything, um, but um, congratulating him for making it through the year probation. Yeah, that's true, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, I wasn't ready for this, but um, yeah, Mike. Mike has been with us for a year. Um, he's working with Jeff and the uh, CNM group, and he's been a great asset to the district so far. So, um, it's been a good one year, and look forward to many more. Great. Okay. Tell Michael hi and congratulations for having a job. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have public input. Uh, Dory, do we have any public that have asked to input? We have no public on the line, and no one has emailed uh, any questions or comments. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll go on to item number six. First, uh, the First Amendment to Contract Agreement with R&R &R Waterproof Roofing, Inc. Or just water, I have yeah, no, water, water, yeah, water roofing, in water roofing, that's hard to say, water roofing, Inc. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, Arden. <laughs> Go for it. I, I have no additional comments. Uh, I think we explained it. It's a fairly small amount, but we wanted to be sure that we corrected that and then got it through the capital uh, projects. Um, the roof seems to be doing great, and um, and we're 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 functioning pretty much at at capacity here now. So um, I want to thank you for letting us fix the roof. <laughs> it was more like making you no <laughs> anyway okay so i'll entertain a motion to recommend um 
uh, approval uh, to go into agreement with R and R Roofing and Waterproofing Inc. for ninety two thousand two hundred and eighty dollars and ten cents. This is just a a change order. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is just the change order. So okay, well, so what am I supposed to be reading? So it's just the twelve thirty, twelve hundred thirty dollar extra. What what is the promotion supposed to be then? To recommend then it's the whole contract according to this. Madam President, I pardon my interruption. I was I thought my mute was on, but yeah, this is just a change order. We're actually in agreement. We're just actually amending this by the twelve hundred thirty, which is a ninety two thousand. Pardon the interruption during the roll call. Right. We do have a motion on the floor. We do. So I'm just trying to figure out. We do vote on this, correct? Yes. Where are you? Okay. Okay. That's what I thought. So I was entertaining a motion. Second. Okay. Second. <clears throat> okay. Everybody understand what we're doing here? Yeah. Okay. Roll call. Vote. Roll call, please. Director roll call. Vote, please. Yes. Director Martin. Yes. Director Grasha. Yes. Vice President Duncan. Yes. And President Wright. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes. Okay, thank you. Okay, back now we're to item number seven for prof professional service contract agreement for Sturdy Van Emergency Management Consulting LLC. Arden, anything else or anybody have any, any more nothing, questions? Nothing more to add. We just, um, we had the opportunity. We Most of this is 75% of this is going to be paid for. We do need to always be prepared and emergency management is sort of the name of the game these days. So uh, I would recommend that we move forward with this. Okay, then I will, if you have any questions, if nobody has any questions, I'll entertain a motion to approve item number seven, make it easy. So I'll, uh, I'll make, make a motion to approve uh, the professional services of contract agreement for Sturdivan yeah. Emergency Management Consulting. Okay, Thank so. Who, who said second? I'll second. Uh, I think, okay. Oh. Thank you. Okay. But, I don't know. I had two seconds there, I guess. I had Ivan and Steve. So. Oh, oh go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Russ made the motion. Ivan seconded it. Uh, roll call vote, please. Director Sewell? Yes. Director Martin? Yes. Director Grasha? Yes. Vice President Duncan? Yes. President Wright? Aye. Thank you, motion passes. Okay, thank you. Item number eight, resolution 2020-17, amending resolution 2020-06, adding rule 22, adding rule 22. Hours of work, overtime, compensatory time, and standby time, and other minor revisions to Mission Springs Water District personnel rules and regulations. So I would, if nobody has any questions, I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution 2020-17. I have a comment. Okay, go for it. Yeah, when we uh, talked about this, uh, uh, there was some uh, concern that uh, this would be written in such a way that it would be, might be considered confusing and I ask that it be uh, clear that it be that it's an optional change that's optional to the employee in reading it it sounds as if it's optional to the district and I just thought that uh, it would be important to, for me to vote up for it that we have to uh, in the title say that it's an optional uh, to the to both actually but uh, Certainly, I don't think that uh, it should be left to, to interpretation down the road that uh, because this essentially, uh, if interpreted improperly, could take away a time and a half from our employees. They work pretty hard, called out at three o'clock in the morning to fix water leaks. I don't think they should be, uh, you know, forced into that indignity down the road if uh, some staff uh, decides that uh, that's, what it, uh, that's what it says. So I want the record clear that... Uh, that it's voluntary for both the district and the employee. I'm trying. I'm trying to see where. Uh, I think it was where, on the fifth page where it says it's. Uh, well, you read it. Yeah, that, that, that's when Anybody I see help? that. Well, it does say in uh, in section five. It says 
non non exempt employees may may elect to accumulate compensatory time in lieu of overtime payments. And I think the board the board can also make it clear during this meeting that that's their that's their intent and interpretation of the policy. This will not be Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Who was speaking? Oh, I just said, fine by me if you're taking a survey. Okay. Okay. So, uh, John Pinkney, are you are you okay with it that that's that that's in there and is that is that yeah uh, that's part of the enough? that's part of the record that that's how it's being ter interpreted by the board and the language does begin at section in section five that non I'm, I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Left to accumulate so I, I think you all are I think you're okay okay um, I think that's consistent with Mr. Grosh's um, concerns okay so who made the motion again no, uh, there ha I don't think there was a motion we don't have one okay well there you go Steve go ahead and make the motion and add that to it if you'd like yeah I'd like to add that change to the uh, to the title uh, uh, I don't, well I don't know if we I don't know if I don't know, Steve. So ask John. John, what about the title? Would it fit in the title? Um, let me just go back up to the title. I, I don't know that you need to change it. I I think that I mean, the way I read it, it's it's in the employee's discretion, and you can make that clear in your motion. Right. Uh, but but a guy that hasn't been to law school isn't going to see that, and he'll be arguing with somebody that's been directed by a staff that we're not sure of is going to have the best interest of the employee at heart. Uh, which, which section, it, Steve, Steve, which section is it that, that gave you concern? Point me to that. It's uh, clear that it's optional for the district on the first page. And it's not until you get to the fifth page, I think, or the fifth, that it becomes uh, a little bit uh, written, a little bit toward the employee. But these guys, uh, they don't want to fight with uh, management. And they shouldn't be forced to to get their extra 200 bucks a month for working pretty hard in the sun. Well, that, that would be the first time in uh, 60 some years. Well, here we are changing the law. <laughs> <No, I, laughs> wait a minute. Okay, I'm just trying to see if any of the whereases would fit it in there. It says that one of the whereases, the third from the bottom. The proposed revision rule 22 provide that such employees be able to accumulate compens compens I can't even say that word sure. time in lieu of compens whatever lieu of overtime at a maximum of 40 hours be able to accumulate is that okay it doesn't say that it's optional to the employee anywhere well, well be able to is optional yeah doesn't say they have to okay two places now they don't say well they director Grasha, i think you know you raised the concern but i do think in reading the language of this i do think that it's clear that it is um it's an election that's made by the by the employee yeah com compensatory time um okay so i i that, yes uh, russ i see your hand oh, hey you but you got gotta unmute you <laughs> He's muted. <laughs> Am I still there muted? There you go. There, there you go. go. All right. Uh, I was just curious, Mr. Grasha, if, if you had some language in mind in that front first page that would resolve the issue that you're concerned about. I just, I just think that it needs to, to, to be clear in the, in, in the title, or at least the first uh, paragraph of the text that this is optional to the employee just as it says it's optional to the district when it's leaning toward the district it needs to lean equally to the employee it's optional for both and it needs to say that not in the fifth paragraph but in the first paragraph i i, I just you know okay well i remember myself being in the in that class of employees at one time and walking into the office and wondering where my check is and why it's not right, uh, leaves a guy feeling disheartened and disillusioned by his employer. And I don't want anybody in, that's in my water district to ever have to feel that way. And when I look at some of the actions of this 
uh, management team, I ask myself, what are the odds that they're going to find and favor the employee when they're given the opportunity? Okay. And it's just okay. not fair. Okay, that's fair. Okay, um, got your point. So I need a, uh, so what do you guys want to do? I, I'll entertain a motion. Anybody got one? Let's see what you got, what you want to do. You know, all you got to do is make the motion and I'll do it as written to include that it's yep. optional for the employee. Instead of changing the title, just add to it that it's optional at the employee's discretion. Okay, you made the motion. There's a motion for you. Okay, thank you. I need a second now. I'll second it. Okay, I got a second. Uh, roll call vote, please, Dory. Director Stuhl? Yes. Director Martin? Yes. Director Grasha? Yes. Vice President Duncan? Yes. President Pardon? I didn't hear that. President Wright? Hi. Thank you. Motion passes. Thank you. Somebody, somebody put your mute. Somebody's not muted. Um, number nine, the consent agenda. Um, anybody, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Everyone is muted, so you'll have to do it by show of hands. Looks like Russ. Okay, Russ made the first. Steve made the second. What? I think that was uh, Ivan's finger. Yeah. calendar? That was, was Ivan's Was that Ivan's finger? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I think I saw three of them. Three, three, three yeah. seconds up there, tell you the truth. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. did. I, I, okay. was, I meant I'll to be vote. voting yes, but go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, <laughs> I saw you. He's saying yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Director Martin? Yes. Director Gresha? Yes. Vice President Duncan? Yes. President Wright? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. We had a, okay, number 10, we had a financial report on um, Thursday. Uh, if any, I don't know if Matt's with us today, but uh, anybody have any other questions? He's not, okay. Is that, that's not. Okay, it's not mine. I, I unplugged mine. Okay. <laughs> so after financial report, unless anybody has any comments or questions on that one, we'll move to number 11, public affairs report, which we've all seen and ha it's, in, been in the, it's in the packet. Do you have anything to say anymore, Victoria? No? Okay. Um, monthly reports. Nothing additional to add. I think we discussed those on Thursday. Yeah, we did. Uh, we had uh, everybody do their, I think Steve had a report maybe uh, for an item number 13. Did I think the other guys did theirs already, didn't they? Correct. Thursday. I had on uh, June 2nd, I uh, attended a webinar on the uh, uh, common uh, geohazards uh, facing. Uh, no, it was the, it was, it was the Aqua webinar, the, the, the 623, right. unless you want to report on another one, that's fine. Well, the uh, leading the workplace post-COVID-19 was a pretty interesting uh, uh, webinar put on by, um, I believe it was Best Best and Krieger, the law firm. Um, and it was helpful, but not at the level that, that uh, they, they needed to be at for the level of awfulness that's going on out there uh, almost as though it was being played down as uh, something that the workplace doesn't really need to be that uh, concerned with and I, I don't agree with that but uh, anyway the uh, also the uh, West Basin uh, lunch and learn class had a uh, water supply and reliability uh, webinar uh, on um, June 5th and on June 8th, uh, developing a, a effective standard operating procedures for, uh, I checked out of that one early, I think. Um, and yeah. history of uh, 40 years of California water policy on June 11th was fascinating. That was uh, put on by um, water education, I think it was, although it was sponsored by Aqua on their website. So 
uh, also a, a water loss control workshop uh, on June 10th, July 10th, I believe. So, there you go. Okay. Are. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. I just want to remind you there was an addendum to today's meeting, a discussion item regarding the West Valley Water Reclamation Facility. Yeah, I was going to get to it just before, okay. right, right, right about now. <laughs> before before we ended the board meeting, yes, we do have that. I was going to do it just before closed session. Okay. Well, let's do it now. We can do it now. We correspond. We already had it. Okay. So, so we do have an addendum today. Let me find what I did with it. Oh, here it is. On the, the first uh, item on the addendum uh, is the Mission Springs Water District West Valley, I get this, Water Reclamation Facility. It was for the first time in a while, I don't think it was, it wasn't on the agenda, I guess, so we couldn't talk about it, but um, I had a, a, a comment at the Thursday meeting, which made me start thinking about the fact that if we don't use the Mission Springs Water District West Valley Water Reclamation System, which nobody really seems to be using it, that, we sh that maybe we should, uh, modify it or look at it or whatever but I'm throwing this out any well out there my, the... uh, my thinking is because I know when na when you when you name something late the blueprints aren't up to date the reports aren't up to date when you get a, a in the old days when you got a printed book <laughs> an EIR or something the name of the project was on the front and and if you did if you change the name after those reports were issued the new name of the plants never reflected. And we're now we're creating a public record in a different way, and that is uh, on the internet. So if uh, people look, if we were to change the name to say the Nancy Wright uh, uh, wastewater treatment plant, um, and we didn't start referring to it that way now, uh, 10 years from now, when people go back to research these items, they won't be able to find the information as easily if, 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 if um, if, if they're aware, you know, if, 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 because the record won't they reflect that until basically the sign is built. So that, that's my thinking. It, 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 you know, any time the press refers to the, the plant, uh, it needs to, the name needs to be consistent. And, I, and even if, it, if it's not named after a, a director, um, I don't think the name that it has now is going to survive. Because right now, even I just referred to it as the wastewater treatment plant. And the other plant, it's easy to say the Horton plant. And everybody knows what we're talking about, or at least I do. Mm. So um, if you, if you want to call it the right plant, I'm all for it. Or, or, but, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to. Um, you know, I can't even remember. Um, well, thank, thank, thanks for the thoughts, Steve. Whatever. But, you know. So, up to you guys. But, uh, but I, I just, want, I just think it needs to be done sooner rather than. Well, I, I think I, what, what your comment, what it made me start thinking about is yes, nobody uses that term. It's you know called all kinds of stuff. It's fondly called the regional plant which I have a feeling that everybody that's been involved with this plant working on it, actually working on it, designing it, talking about it, you know, every day almost, they're living it, will probably end up calling it the regional plant forever anyway amongst themselves. Um, anyway, anybody else have any thoughts on, on this? Randy? I got one thing that popped up I, I got to address. Okay. Uh, I, I've been wanting to change the title of this thing. From the, uh, I've always called it the alphabet plant. Um, for 30 plus years, I've known Nancy Wright. Uh, nothing but the utmost respect for Nancy. Um, but you know, I'm, I, I'm ultimately an optimist, but I'm very optimistically or optimistically cautious here. Something just caught my ear last week. Um, Steve Grasha, since he's been on the board, every meeting has attacked myself or Nancy, plus one of the other directors, general manager, the attorney. He's written countless articles that were absolute lies, published them on the internet, and now wants to bestow this big honor upon Nancy. And I don't get it. It's just doesn't ring in my ear. 
something is crooked, something is wrong, there's an ulterior motive, that's my thought. <laughs> okay, thanks for your thought. Anybody else have a thought about what you want to call like, it? I'll um, respond to that if you like. We have districting elections. It's certainly uh, obvious that I will be moving into Nancy's district next year. I will defeat her and she will no longer be on this board. I think it's appropriate that we do now what we won't be able to do then because I won't name it after her three years from now. Thank you. Okay, I would like to look at this thing. I've been wow. thinking about this. And, and you know, if we have 90 acres out there. Okay, Russ, go for it. Yeah. yeah, my only concern about uh, uh, making that name change now, and otherwise, you know, I've kind of supported this. I teased you about it a lot, but I've been serious about it. But at any rate, um, uh, does, it, does this change, would this changing of the name have any impact on uh, the grant money? Because it's, the grant money would be designated for what we're calling it now. Or would that be just a minor adjustment and not a, not, a, not an issue? Uh, I, I yeah. would think it wouldn't mind. What do you think, Matt, Arden? So no. Go on, Danny. I don't think no, that'll... We changed it from the regional plan since every study and document this organization has done for the last 15 to 20 years, it says regional plan. It was a change when the board voted to call it the West Valley. So no, it has not. It's interchangeable. Okay. Okay. That won't change anything. Okay. Um, anyway, so back to the 90 acres. That, that's a com compound or a whatever, a building complex. And we've got energy out there. We've got a solar plant. We've got a wastewater treatment plant. We have a well. Hopefully in the future, we've got maybe some type of educational facility to educate people about our water. It's right there on the freeway. It's, it's really good places. I've, I've gone to and seen lots of really nice uh, water demonstration parks uh, in, in other wastewater treatment plant areas. Uh, the ponds, a lot, you know, some of them have uh, walking trails uh, and stuff like that. I mean, we're talking in the future, but but this is a, as a complex. So, you know, we ought to think about naming the complex too. But I would like I would like to throw out there to, li to leave the name at Mission Springs Water District, maybe take out West Valley and just call it uh, Mission Springs Water District Regional Water Reclamation Facility. Mm -hmm. It's a little easier than throwing West Valley in there to roll off the tongue. Um, and I really appreciate the thoughts about, you know, about the name, but I don't, I don't think that's going to benefit any. And, and the way things are going nowadays with people's names and they want to change them and who knows you guys don't have to know what i might do in the future <laughs> you'd have to change the name <laughs> you, might, you know it's so you know i i don't know i am really not into uh to names on 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 um wastewater treatment plants per se uh so and and i don't think it would do any good i i mean i'm not i yeah, there's a lot of other people whose names should be on that plant besides mine i you know so uh anyway what do you guys think about Mission Springs Water District Regional Water Reclamation Plant over the West Valley? Is it easier to say? You guys in for it? Uh, you want to leave it as it is? I'm okay with that too. Um, help. Yeah. Hi. Yes, Russ. Yes, I would. Uh, I would support that. I would also support uh, Mr. Grasha's recommendation as well. I, I need to. Either change for me is is, is good, and, and I don't know anybody uh, currently alive today that has had the impact that you have had on the water district, Nancy. So I think that that's a very legitimate, uh, very legitimate uh, motion that uh, Mr. Grasha has uh, submitted. So, uh, but if the rest of the board would like to drop, uh, uh, I'm, I'm okay with dropping West Valley too. I, I never understood why that was included in the first place. So I'm all open to either change. I, I'm, I lost uh, Randy and, okay, Ivan, you have any thoughts? Um, I'd be up for doing the uh, drop of the West Valley, but I also think that um, this probably isn't the most urgent matter. And, uh, you know, we have time until it's built. If we come up with a better name and leave it as is for now, um, I'm really up for anything. 
I like that, Ivan. <laughs> and you're right. We got, and I said that Thursday. We got plenty of time to figure this out. Um, so, okay, I, I'm for I'm for leaving it as it is at the moment and waiting a while or waiting to maybe we can think about it. But think about the complex. Think about the whole 90 acres. And when you drive into the 90 acres, we should have some kind of a I don't know Mission Springs is uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. energy water energy. Uh, plant or something we have both out there we have solar and we have the plant and that solar plant we're hoping will run the at least a good part of the the plant once it gets going so um so i'd like to see somehow make it an, a water energy nexus thing for education and whatnot out there and maybe maybe work on that kind of a name and there's also inner roads i imagine we have inner dirt roads inside the complex um that would that could, could be named also, eventually, um, that kind of stuff. So, okay. If everybody's okay with, uh, you know, just hanging, hanging out, using this name for now, and we'll bring it up uh, in the future. Okay. Okay. Ivan seemed to be okay with that. How are you okay with that, Steve and uh, Randy? I don't know where you are, Randy. Hit the wrong button. Uh, yes, I absolutely am. I just thought it would be a good time to kick it off before, uh, I guess, do they even make blueprints that they, hard blueprints that we have laying, we'll have laying around the office? I remember this happened once before, and uh, the blueprints were open, roll, unrolled on a, on a desk in a building office, and nobody knew what they were for because it had the wrong name on them, because the name had been changed. So they always had to refer back to the old name to go dig the blueprints out. It was mm. uh, a mess. Okay. So, that memory from my well, childhood is what I'm carrying with me today. Okay, got it. Okay, and well, I know back in 19, I think it was 86 or 87 is when the district actually changed its name from Desert Hot Springs County Water District to Mission Springs Water District. So there's a lot of stuff probably in Desert Hot Springs County Water District's name. Anyway, okay. <laughs> got that got that taken care of thanks guys and thanks for for bringing it up and, and i really appreciate the thought okay I, it was very nice and uh thank you that's all i can say i think we should name it after danny no <laughs> okay um the next thing on the agenda is we have now two closed sessions john which one uh we're gonna you want to go ahead and name what they yes. are yes we're, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a brief discussion on item number 18 a conference with legal counsel regarding existing litigation pursuant to government code section 54956.91 one case case number psc 1600676 and that's mission springs water district versus dwa at all and then the other item is on your addendum and that is uh conference with real property negotiator pursuant to government code section 94956.8 and the property is APN number 663-230-023. The agency negotiator is Arden Wallam. And the negotiating parties are Mission Springs Water District as buyer. And Joseph Piccini, uh, care of Daniel Piccini as seller. Under negotiation are price and terms. Okay, thank you. So, Dory, are you ready to put us, to close us up in closed session? I'm ready. Okay, so so who ends up being the host again? Me? Uh, yeah, you're the well, the co-host. And everybody's going to be unmuted, right? I mean, that's going to be in the closed session. Oh yeah. Okay, so then okay, then we just go. We know how. To, okay. I'm going to ask that Danny Fran. The, Danny and Dory, who? I'm going to ask that Danny Fran be a part of the property again. Okay. I'm happy to put him in there with you. That's it, right? We just have director's comments and then we can wrap it up. Oh, okay. We're going to do that. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I was thinking about going into closed session first. Got it. Okay. We have uh, district council's comments, which is, you already made. You already made. Is that all you yeah, got to say, just, John? Just, just the closed sessions, yes. Okay. General manager's report. 
besides your written one? Um, I, I noticed that uh, we got a notice from LAPCO that they're, you know, going finally going through a, a formal process. Well, they'll be in front of you, Nancy, on the SOI review. And I remember the last time this came up, uh, somebody thought that there was some change. And actually, there are no changes. Who is making all that noise? Probably Russ. There we go. <laughs> um, there's... Um, and so just for your information, the SOI has not changed and we've made no request to change. Um, I do, I wanted to tell you that I talked to Chuck uh, Maynard and we'll have a resolution for them to approve at their September 1st council meeting uh, on our plan. And uh, we're gonna be beginning discussions with uh, the city of Palm Springs, hopefully we'll We'll definitely talk to Grace because actually the plant is in her district. So um, we'll we'll move forward on that to see if we can't get a a, um, um, a resolution. And the only other thing is is um, remember that uh, I will be dark in August, but and that I will I'm scheduled to have my outpatient surgery done on the 14th and I'll probably be gone for a week after that. I'll... Okay. So uh, would you, who did you say CVAG? Who did you say was talking or was commenting on the SOI, Arden? Sorry, I didn't Sorry, catch the connection. LAFCO. Oh, it was LAFCO. Oh. Well, who commented on it though? I did, did. I didn't catch it because I couldn't hear what he's saying at the very beginning. But it's just the uh, the SOI what review. Is you just talking about oh, the SOI yeah, review? I just got a notice. Yes, I just got a notice from LAPCO. I wanted you to all not think that there is some change. We have requested no change, yeah, and I believe yeah, okay, that's. I knew that. what you want. Yeah, okay. I, did, I couldn't under, I thought she said CVAG at one point. But anyway, okay, thank you. Uh, director's comments. Steve, do you have any comments? Uh, just briefly on the uh, subject that Arden just mentioned about the uh, resolution that for the city council. I was on a, uh, what do you call it, a webinar of sorts. There were about 200 people on it last week. There were two of them held by two city council members. Um, listening sessions, I guess you would call it, uh, from yeah, heard those. Yeah. And, um, uh, the wastewater treatment plant was brought up, not by me, but by in interested citizens in a very positive light. Oh, good. Um, I sent a link to Arden so he could look at it. I don't know if he did or whatever, but yes, I did. Uh, uh, it, it was interesting to hear that a little bit, just a just to mention in a positive way, I know that uh, our staff spent some time with the one fella um, and uh, I just want to say thanks for the time that you spent that investment um, paid off nicely this last week. Uh, I think on Saturday, I think it was on Saturday, there were about 125 people on that call, maybe 200 because there were uh, an additional 50 on, on uh, listening on uh, YouTube. And I think 125 on uh, Zoom. So it's pretty interesting stuff going on over at Palm Springs. There has been a change, absolutely. And um, in the political landscape at Palm Springs, I don't think they're catching up. I don't, you know, and, uh, Desert Hot Springs somehow is missing this, this uh, economic hit that's being felt everywhere else. Lucky, lucky, lucky. They took, uh, Desert Hot Springs took a, a very deep hit in the 2008 uh, situation, but uh, today, at least for right now, seems to be uh, just a slight graze, but Palm Springs has been decapitated financially. Uh, so it'll be uh, uh, perhaps the only prod, you know, they, they, they canceled a, a, a $3 million park improvement midway. They've, they've sent the trucks away uh, in downtown, uh, very unsettling things happening over there. Uh, and it was nice to have the only up 
the only positive thing being said during those calls about improvements in the community was uh, our plant. So uh, that was nice to hear. Thanks. Yeah. Thank, thank you for that, for telling us that. Yes. I, yeah, I also heard that their city manager got 20% decrease in salary. They've got, a, they've got, I think it's like close to a hundred million in unfunded liabilities besides the COVID it's, situation. It's so that's a bummer that I hope they get themselves out of it anyway. Okay. Um, Oh, let's see. Who else do I have here that's unmuted? No, you guys are all muted. Okay, Russ, you got to unmute. No comments. Okay. Randy, comments? Okay. No. Congress. Ivan, comments? Yeah, just uh, with us being dark August, hope uh, that all of staff has a great rest of your summer and continue to be safe with uh, COVID, and we'll see you in September. Sounds like that's a song, you know. See you in September. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> showing my age <laughs> anyway uh, um did i get everybody yeah okay uh yeah and i'd also like to add I, i'm not sure but i think i forgot to say thank you to dory about the the lafco yeah about the the employees helping me with the the lafco election and dory did did most of that flyer if not all of it so thank you dory my I, if i miss you on thursday i think anyway okay <laughs> so Okay, we're going into closed session now, though. Yes. Happened. Okay, so we had a closed session, and it was regarding <clears throat> item 18A, conference with legal counsel regarding existing litigation pursuant to government code section 54956.9D1. One case, PSC 1600676, Mission Springs Water District versus Desert Water Agency. There was no reportable action taken on that item. And then we also met on the item that was on the addendum, the closed session, and that was conference with real property negotiator pursuant to government code section 54956.8. The APN number is 663230023, agency negotiator Arden Wallen. Uh, Danny Friend also attended that closed session. Uh, negotiating parties, Mission Springs as buyer, and Joseph Pacini and care of Daniel Pacini as seller under negotiation price and terms. There was no reportable action taken on that item. Thank you, John. Um, okay, so I have a, a board member that wants to go back to director's comments. So, Steve, yes, I'll give you the floor you. for a few minutes. Thank you, President Wright. The, um, uh, issue I wanted to ask uh, that uh, consider bringing back a another uh, special meeting or wor a work session on um, the subject of the uh, uh, would be allowed to talk about both the improvements inside the current office as well as uh, there was a meeting in December that I unceremoniously removed from uh, that I wasn't and, and therefore wasn't able to participate in the deliberations uh, to uh, talk about the future uh, potentially new headquarters. So I'd like to uh, uh, try that again without a use of uh, law enforcement to enforce the opinions of uh, um, rogue presidents. Okay. Um, that's oh, just okay, a board well, manual. That wasn't the building. Yes, it was. Look at the so, agenda. You can, you can all. No, it, it was the board manual. So it as there was, well, as it was the manual. Board, as a board, it was, it was also the building. No, no, it was anyway, not. under the Brown anyway. Act, you can always vote to put something on a future agenda that is permitted under the Brown Act, even though this is not an agendized yeah. item. You can take action to put something on a future. Okay, well, well, let me just say this. Okay, well, we're we were we're going to go uh, dark in August, right? So our next meeting will be in September. Uh, there's a possibility uh, that we might need a workshop in early September. If that's the case, we could add it to that. If not, we could probably add it to our our study or to our board meeting in September. That, that's Sounds good fine. To me. And, and if you can't do a, uh, an agenda item, perhaps just for the uh, improvements of the, that I, I would be okay with that too. But uh, uh, I, I don't want uh, the people to be uh, stuck uh, more than, more time than they have to with that building unfinished. So I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, um, you're talking about well, just refinishing. I, I wanted to poke on the other issue, but mainly I want to get the building fixed. Okay, so, so, so you're talking about just 
the the refurbishment of the existing building. Yeah, and, okay. and okay. potentially maybe uh, you know paint the entire second floor so that it uh, that I don't know the soul sucking blue you chose. I don't know who was thinking there. Well, okay. Well, well, we'll, we'll okay. Yeah. You got that? Got that, Arden? If you have a word, Nancy. Off, we well, yeah, Danny wants to say something here too. <laughs> Who? Well, we, wait, well, look, we can't get into a discussion on this item. It's not okay. on the agenda. You can only take action to put it on a future agenda if you choose to do so. But now it's well, not. We're not if everybody's in agreement, so we're not taking any action. We're, I just, my, well, my suggestions seem to go over okay, so we'll do that. And at the latest, it would be on the September agenda, it, as long as that agenda is not huge. <laughs> you know, I'd like to have the conversation where we can have it where, you know, we don't have to press for time. Anyway, so we'll see how that works out. We'll try Madam our, our darndest. Nancy? Yes? If I, I'm John, I, I understand what you're saying. I just have a quick question. It sounds like we're going to at least put the building interior restoration on next the next agenda sounds like September, and uh, my question would be: Would it, would it be a, should should staff look at revising the bids for the interior the interior work? Sure, yeah. If you can get better bids, that'd be great. <laughs> can't guarantee I can get better bids, but the bids are not. Uh, they're. I don't believe anybody would would even. Um, I don't believe anybody would actually honor those prices, and I know that they're anywhere from anywhere from fifty, sixty, seventy up to ninety thousand dollars. I just want to understand by looking, trying to get some understanding. Well, they're going to want to, they might want to talk about both. Yeah, usually bids have a time time limit on them too. So we'll, we'll put that. We'll put them both on the workshop, and uh, okay. we'll try to have a workshop with other items if we need to um, early September. Like I think, what is it? The first first whatever Tuesday of the month is that our kind of workshop kind of maybe you know that we we just to try to have it on that day. it depends on when everybody can be at the meeting but that that's what it ends up doing yes okay okay thank you everybody it was a good meeting Goodbye. um everybody stay safe and um uh, i don't know i i hope maybe september meeting we might be in the boardroom uh we'll see uh how this COVID thing goes but um maybe we will you never know so thank you. Uh, meeting adjourned. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.